Hello Aries, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a monthly reading for you for September 2021. And we're going to be looking at what energies will be playing out for you this month. Sorry, I have to turn off my air conditioner. I forget, sometimes it's too loud to have that on video. So, um, please keep in mind this is a general reading, okay? It may or may not resonate with all of you, so please take what you like and leave the rest for someone else. Also, please go and check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs to make sure you're getting all of the messages that correlate with your natal chart. Alright, let's go ahead and jump right in. And uh, the first card out on the table is going to be talking about the approach to the situation coming up in September, okay? Spirit, what do we have for Aries? We start with the Page of Pentacles. So sometimes this can be talking about uh, news. Um, it can talk about a very, very uh, immature person as well. Um, but with the energy that I'm feeling right off the bat with this card um, is that there could be possible news coming in regarding maybe work or a possible uh, raise or promotion of some kind. Now we will clarify, but that's the original uh, feeling that I get from this card, okay? But it could be a message, it could be, um, again, a person, um, possibly. Let's see what's crossing you. Let's see what, what's crossing this, this energy here and see why, why it could be here. Okay, we have Justice. So you could be dealing with uh, the court system. Okay, that's not going to be for everybody. Um, if so, this could be a delay. Okay, it could be, or it could be in the immature or early stages, should I say, um, of the process. So if you're going through some sort of uh, trial or uh, divorce or anything that has to do with money or you having to pay money to get through this, um, this could be in the early processes of that. Again, that's not going to be for everybody. Not everyone is going to court or dealing with the law. So overall, um, in most cases, this is going to be talking about balance or you know doing uh, uh, something that's that's fair or remaining in balance or um, you know accepting maybe some consequences that could be possibly coming your way. Again, it is crossing the page, so. Uh, there could be something that is requiring balance in order for you to maneuver into something new, um, into a fresh opportunity. Um, again, this could be even um, something that has to do with uh, maybe even going through a background check, okay, because this can also talk about the truth, right? Sometimes employers want to know who you are, and in order to do that, they have to go through your background, right? they run a background check and nowadays uh, employers are even going as far as looking at social media so um, this could be possibly passing that type of background check in order to start something new or get into a higher position or a new position okay let's see what's in your thoughts at this time Aries yeah okay so as I mentioned, the delay, I think I, I said that there could be some sort of delay. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow moving energy. It's actually the slowest knight in the deck. So you might be waiting. There could be some, some sort of waiting that you have to do in order to um, maybe attain this, this new position or this raise or promotion. Um, there is a waiting period and I think you're, you're really thinking about why it may be taking so long um, if someone's running background checks in order for you to get moving with that uh, you know there is the pentacle here and a pentacle here so um, if, if it's an employer who you're waiting for to to get back to you it's it's taking a little bit of time okay let's see what you really want out of this situation okay the seven of swords this can usually talk about um, somebody being shady, but um, in this context, and the reason why I'm not taking it that way here is because of the position it's coming out in, which is your unconscious desires. I'm sure you don't want to be consciously shady, 
right? I feel that you are trying to take everything you can um, and really strategically maneuver in a way that's going to allow you to attain all that you can attain, right, out of a situation. It could be this job. So I really feel that you're you're trying to, I feel this is a positive um, card in this scenario, which is very hard to come by. This card usually doesn't come out in a positive light, but I am getting that you are um, just trying to, you know, really put all of your, um, your best qualities forward and really trying to get everything you can out of a situation okay um which is good that's a good thing that's why i'm saying this this card usually comes out negatively but i don't see it in that light in this reading so that's a good thing let's see what your recent past is looking like okay yeah so you may have had some financial difficulties in the past um maybe even recently in the past okay because this is the recent past position here um, you could have maybe felt left out in the cold somehow. Maybe um, someone maybe left you out in the cold. Um, this could be an employer. It could be a person in your life. Um, but I do feel there was some sort of lack here. And um, that's pro possibly why um, you can't wait or it's you're anticipating, I should say, this new opportunity that could be coming your way. Okay. Um, let, let's see what the immediate future looks like for you. Okay, we have the Five of Swords. So this can talk about a little bit of conflict. Okay, this can talk about mental conflict, even internal conflict. It doesn't always have to mean that you're going to be in conflict with others, but it certainly can. Um, however, I do feel that there might be maybe some harsh words that have to be said, maybe from your part or someone else's. Um, let's we'll clarify but I do feel that there might be a little bit of conflict here coming up in the future let's see what your higher self is saying wanting to say to, to you okay the knight of swords so lots of swords out here too so the knight of swords is someone who takes initiative on communicating okay something that maybe you want to uh, get off your chest and it could be why there is a little bit of difficulty um, here with conflict. It could be with other people, maybe even one person in particular. I do see Taurus uh, and Libra out on the table and now uh, Gemini energy out here as well. You could be dealing with any of those signs. Um, but I do feel that there is going to be some conversation that could stir the pot just a little bit coming up in September. Okay, let's see what is surrounding you what, what's influencing you i'm going to take just this one the lovers so there's a decision that you have to make here okay aries um it may be a decision due to this communication it could be a decision regarding this job it could be a decision um regarding your money okay let's see uh what your hopes and fears are the knight of cups Okay, so you could be maybe um, possibly feeling like you want to initiate a person that you're interested in. Um, I know it turned into this uh, Knight of Cups here. My readings can sometimes go from money straight into love. That's just the way it goes. But And it will clarify to see if this is a, an offer of love or you may, may be approaching somebody new. But this card does talk about someone who's offering their cup of love. Maybe not uh, to the extent of getting married or having a long-term relationship. But this could be some sort of offer of uh, maybe going, to, going out on a date or buying someone some flowers or receiving flowers. Okay. Something like that. Okay. And that's going to be um, what your hopes and fears are. So this, you know, it could go both ways. Let's see what the outcome is here. This is your distant future. Okay, so a little bit of a uh, wounded warrior feeling here. Um, maybe you have had, you probably have had a lot on your plate um, and you're kind of ready for it to be over. This could be anything, a project or... Um, maybe even school maybe you're ready to graduate from college and um, it's just been a long journey 
Um, so whatever it is for you, this is really feeling like you're ready, you're done um, with the situation and you kind of want it to be over. The next card is the 10, uh, which is, you know, getting ready to lay down the burden and start something new. Okay. Um, okay. I'm being called to ask, I'm sorry, I'm being called to use, not ask, use another deck for clarifying. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Santa Muerte deck. Get a couple shuffles in here. Uh, Aries, if this sounds like this reading is for you so far, um, hopefully you'll stick with me through the clarification and make sure you hit that like button, okay? That allows the video to continue to uh, make itself available for everyone else that needs to hear this message. And it also shows me that you appreciate the content. So also, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do that as well. Okay, let's go ahead and jump right in and see what else could be going on here beneath the surface. I want to see what this page of pentacles is because I'm feeling that it is something to do with a promotion or raise, but let's see. Spirit, why is this here? The two of pentacles. Okay, so you could be juggling two jobs here, Aries. There could be, or two opportunities in work. Okay, now this doesn't have to be with an organization or uh, anything like that. It could even be entrepreneurship. You could be having uh, the opportunity of uh, starting something new because the pages do uh, indicate, you know, fresh new start. You could be wanting to open up a business uh, and work at the same time, which is, you know, that's really difficult. But it is doable, right? Um, so you may be thinking about that or you may be juggling back and forth between whether or not you want to do that okay so that's why that's here so there is an opportunity here for you possible two opportunities that could be um, lending really really prosperous opportunities or prosperous growth for you to build your money so with the justice here let's see why this is out here seeking truth maybe maybe looking for the right job Okay, looking for the right opportunity. Okay, so the chariot card, this is card of cancer. And this is saying that although we have the knight of pentacles in your mind, you're thinking that, oh, this is taking forever. Like it's never, they're never going to call me or this is never going to get off the ground. It is. In September, it's coming in very quick for you to so prepare. Prepare yourself for either um, an opportunity to come become available to you and you having to make the decision with the lover's card you're going to have to be making a decision between the two okay because you may not be able to do both sorry i have to get this notification off my screen sorry about that let's see what the knight of pentacles is talking about here we have the three of swords so Now the Three of Swords in this deck is quite interesting because there are two different ways to look at this card. If you can see that there is someone sitting on top of another individual's head trying to either one, take the sword out of the back or is stabbing the person in the back. You can look at it two different ways. So there could be something here talking about maybe someone who could have been deceptive in some sort of work situation, okay? That could be why you are wanting to start something new, something fresh. It could also be related to this card here of the Seven of Swords because, as I said, this sometimes does talk about deception, um, someone who's being shady. So there could have been someone here that did stab you in the back. You're maybe trying to um, pick up the pieces from whatever that was and try to move on into something else. Uh, maybe trying to uh, get your thoughts together so that you can, you know, gain a new perspective to move forward into a new direction. You know, sometimes when you're dealing with shady people, it can feel that, you know, your world is going to be turned upside down. Um, 
And that's what I'm feeling here. Let's look at the Seven of Swords and see why it's here. The Knight of Wands and the Nine of Swords. Okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This could be your energy here with the Knight of Wands, Aries. This could be saying that, you know, you tried to take um, or you want to try to, because this is your unconscious desires, you want to take initiative um, towards something that you love to do, something that could, you know, bring in some good money for you. But I feel like you're up in your head with the Nine of Swords. This is talking about you losing sleep over over it or feeling anxiety or, or really uptight about some situation that took place. Um, but I feel that you do want to take initiative on something. Um, put that how it resonates for you, okay? This Knight of Wands is um, an energy of someone who takes action, moves forward, doesn't, you know, stay behind. But there is this feeling left out in the cold here. And this could be that person uh, who may have left you out in the cold or made you feel like... Uh, too many, sorry. Um, made you feel like... Um, like you, you couldn't attain something or this left you out financially or, or really kind of took more than what they were giving in a situation and left you high and dry. Okay, that's what I'm feeling here. Let's see what this Five of Pentacles is talking about here. Spirit, what is, why is this here? death okay so yeah that's it ended pretty quickly okay um whatever this was i think that it helped you to realize something yeah the five of swords it kind of lit a fire under your butt to make you realize that you know this was no longer going to work this person or this energy in your life this uh could be an energy vampire actually or even someone who just wanted to take from you okay um you you put an end to that because this really lit a fire under you to make you realize that this was just creating more problems than helping and you're not you're not really going to put up with stuff like that so i feel like you ended it pretty quickly um and even though because we have the five of wands and the five of swords here i feel that there is still a little bit of conflict with the situation whatever it is there is still some back and forth uh with these people or this person who may have left you out in the cold or stabbed you in the back let's see why this is here five of swords please clarify the five of swords page of swords and the queen of cups could be dealing with a cancer pisces or a scorpio the Page of Swords is someone who could be reaching out to you to talk to you, okay? Um, maybe watching you, but I feel that, and because I feel that it's very uh, very likely that it's a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, um, there's going to be a little bit of harsh words that fly back and forth. As I said in the beginning when I first saw this card, yes, there's going to be someone reaching out to you. Um, who is going to be wanting to talk about the situation, okay? Because I feel like you ended this. Whatever it was, you were like, nope, I'm not playing your games. I'm not going to do this with you anymore. But someone wants to come back in to talk about it, okay? Um, again, yes. So you're going to, you're going to play the game. You're going to go ahead and, and have this conversation, um, and I, I think that you knew that it was coming. You knew that this conversation was going to have to happen. So let's see what this is talking about. This Knight of Swords. You're ready for it, Aries. You're ready to have a conversation. Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this could be talking about um, the money maybe that was taken or lost or misused, whatever. Um, there's going to be discussion about money. Okay, about how either uh, the dependability was not there or was, you know, or lacked 
or whatever, but it has to do with money. Let's get one more. The lovers in reverse. Okay, so you're not going to really change your perspective or, or change your mind on how you feel about the situation. Um, you're going to talk about it. You're going to give. You're going to give uh, the opportunity. You're going to give this person the opportunity to, to have their their moment to, to speak to you. Um, you will have an open mind to, to continue to you know listen with you know to what they have to say. But you're not going to change your perspective. You're not changing your mind. You're just not going to change your mind on this. Okay. Um, but you will be making a decision. Okay, the lovers in the upright is what's influencing you. So let's see what this decision is. The decision is that you want long-term investments and people that are going to be um, there for you when you need them, not people who are going to leave you out in the cold. Okay, your decision is going to be to make money and to strive for abundance and not you, you're you're done with the lack you're done with feeling the lack and you're done with the games and you're done with um, the fighting or the arguing or the misunderstandings right you're, you're done with that you're not doing that anymore you've been done with that and I feel that with the ten of pentacles here this is saying that you're ready to make the decision to move into um, a, a more prosperous and, and abundant space for yourself. Let's get one more for the lover's card, please. That's a beautiful energy. I, I love that for you, Aries. Yeah, you've taken the time to really go within, to know exactly what you want. Um, you know, the Hermit really talks about self-reflection. So I think you've taken that um, that time to go within and really look and see what's going on with my life. How do I want my life to pan out? How do what do I want to see for myself, right? And I feel that abundance is what you've decided on, not lack, not um, you know people who don't have your best interest at heart. Okay, let's see what this Knight of Cups is here in uh, your hopes and your fears. We have the Ace of Cups in reverse. Okay, so I feel here that um, because it turned itself around as it came out of the deck, this is talking about um, not pursuing a beginning or new beginning in love. So there could be someone who comes in to offer you something and you're really turning it down. You're saying, no, I'm not ready for it. I'm sorry. I'm focused on my money right now. Sorry. I don't have time for that. Um, I do feel here that, you know, you uh, very, very likely you're dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio individual. And I feel like this person wants to come and talk to you to try to make things right. But I think that they, you know, they could have just really did a lot of damage. And you're thinking about how it affected you monetarily and maybe even, you know, emotionally. I don't see a lot of emotion out here with the exception of the Queen of Cups, but I feel like this is someone else's energy here. I feel like it's the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, okay? I feel like you're done. You have the Nine of Wands. You're you're kind of wounded by, you know, the experience and you really want to just, you just want it to be over. You don't want to really give this a, a chance again, okay? Let's see what this Nine of Wands is talking about. Yeah, this is the devil energy. Okay, you're done with people procrastinating. You're done with lack of of uh, respect, lack of you know control in a situation with money and otherwise um, with people that may just you know they're just uh, dealing with other things that aren't effective. Um, in your life or their own. So I feel like you're just, you know, if you can see this, and it, I'm going to put it this way, you can kind of see this guy looking at that energy like, uh, no, I don't want to deal with you anymore. You know, can you see his face? He's just like, no, mm -mm. no thanks. 
I'm done. So Aries, I think that you're just, you know, I feel like you're moving towards um, something that's going to bring you this beautiful abundance, but at the same time, you're still kind of dealing with people who don't get it. Like they don't see, maybe they don't even see their own actions, you know, maybe they don't even realize that they're creating such havoc or drama in your life that it's so unnecessary. Okay. Um, let's see, let's pull, um, one Oracle card or maybe a couple Oracle cards, whatever comes out for you and see what other messages need to be, um, shared with you. Spirit, what else do we have for Aries? Okay, yeah, so it says have faith in your dreams. And I do feel here that there is something that you're you're really pondering and you're going to be making a decision for yourself to work your way towards something more prosperous and abundant. Um, there is this opportunity here, as I said, it's kind of, it's going to be coming in quick. This could be something fresh and new. It could be a possible opportunity and, uh, business, maybe your own business. It could be even just a work situation where you, you may be getting a raise or a promotion, but I feel that it's really going to really lead you into the ability to put your best foot forward and to, um, kind of man maneuver out of this energy where maybe someone left you high and dry, or uh, maybe there's been a little bit of financial lack um, due to someone else's um, instability or, you know, you know, this could be, a, this could be a, a business partnership where someone just, I've been there, I know it's not easy, um, where someone doesn't pan out and you lose lots of money, right? Uh, you you invest with someone you think that they have everything going for them and it turns out that they're just a liar or a thief or that's kind of the energy I get from this person in this reading so um, again put it how it resonates for you okay that it may you know be a little different for some of you out there but the energy is pretty much the same okay um, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it here, Aries. If you liked the video, please hit that like button and subscribe if you're not subscribed already, okay? Also hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I post new videos. I love you guys. Thanks for being here again. And until next time, namaste.